Hello, how you doing? My name is Prophet Eugene Terrell of Second Chance Get the Deliverance Ministry. I'd like to welcome you to our new podcast that's coming out called Welcome to My Porch. Now, depending on where we'll be hosting our different podcasts, it'll be called Welcome to Our, and then fill you much fill in the blanks, like for instance, Welcome to Our Basement, Welcome to My Car, Welcome to My Living Room. That'll be the name of the different uh, podcasts. Uh, but with that being said, I we'll be relaunching our ministry through different forms of uh, social media until we actually really find out where God is really taking this particular ministry. I want to just reach out to you. And those who are struggling right now, going through a lot. I know a lot of you are suffering with this pandemic and some of you are taking it rough, some of you are taking it easy. Some of you are taking it kind of hard. And frankly, many of us have lost loved ones or came close to losing loved ones in this pandemic. Now, for me to say it'll be all right or trust God, that'll be kind of hard to say right now, especially your level of, of strength right now. But our goal, our ministry goal, is to believe God that he will lead us to topics that will help you through whatever you're going through, to help you come out of the issues and situations that you're struggling with. Because right now we're in some times that many of you have thought you will never ever experience or ever see. A pandemic with so much hate and racism that's going on right now. People telling us that we're not children of God because we don't choose the same views they have. Unaware of the ignorance of what they're saying. Think about this. There's politicians that say they're against abortion. They're against this and they're against that. But yet when you look at their background, their background has a lot of devilish things in it. Then we have another politician that has a lot of issues as well. But everyone closed their eyes because one politician is against the murder of unborn babies, but not against the murder of born babies. I'm not telling you who to pick or who to choose. I'm asking you to pray that God will lead you to pick the right person and that you will stop telling people that they're not Christians because. Because to be a Christian, that means, or last time we checked and last time we were taught, that it means to be Christ-like. They mean there's a lot of different things that go with that that I don't have enough time to break down. But to be, to tell someone that they're not a Christian, it, it's past judgmental. It's, it's damning a person and making them believe that they have to choose who you want them to choose. And that's sad. But enough of that our podcast we will be discover we will be breaking down prophetic movements uh, utterance uh, what is God saying in such a time as this what is going on how do we prepare ourselves for the next move how do we get how do we what do we pray right now because there's so many people prophet lying on God and they prophesy prophet lying off of telling people who to vote for it doesn't make any sense. We got to ask ourselves, how can God hear our prayers when the body of Christ is so divided? When this group of 100 are saying, God, do this. And this group of 100 is saying, God, do this. The question is, why would God even answer any of our prayers when we're so divided? On what we what we seeking God for. The Bible stated that if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray. But how can God's people humble themselves and pray when you have so many ghosts masquerading as sheep? When you have so many people who are in a chaotic, chaotic state of mind? You look and the question is, why should I be a Christian? Why should I even believe in God? When we're looking at things and nobody actually understands what is going on right now. You turn on with the TV evangelists. I had to stop watching TV, uh, uh, these different TV evangelists because if you really break it down, it's, it, they didn't got into racism themselves. You know, it's like they're quiet when it, things come down to, to certain social issues. 
but they were, but they, they, they start speaking and saying, well, this group is a terrorist group, this group is a terrorist group. But they never tell us that the Klan is a terrorist group. They never speak out against uh, racial injustice, but they always speak out when someone stands up to try to fight for the rights of someone else. We have to open up our eyes. We have to be able to stand because right now, people say we have freedom of speech, but we don't have freedom of speech because when you speak about us, when you speak against a certain politician, you pretty much get blackballed or they erase you off the off Facebook or. They erase you off, so there's no, but it's, it's, it's just a mind game. Listen, when I say prophetic breakdown, we're gonna break things down. We're gonna break things down from a prophetic point in regards to conspiracy. We're gonna break things down from a prophet, from the prophetic point of all, all kinds of things. Some of the stuff gonna sound so wild, but I'm gonna give you a lot of stuff to back up what I'm saying. So that you can do your homework on what I'm saying. So that you won't be like, oh, he's crazy. Well, face it. True, if you look in the Bible, most of the prophets in the Bible was kind of crazy. They seemed kind of crazy. They didn't seem like they was wrapped up right. But I'm not saying I'm crazy. What I'm saying is, check us out. You like us? Join us. You don't like us? You can always walk away. But remember, my views are my views. Unless I say that I, I, I felt led or I, I let you know that God is speaking and God is saying. But until then, my views are my views. Okay? You need to let people know if it's your views, it's your views. But when you start prophesying or saying that God said, and you know good and well that God didn't say, but you're just scaring people into to, to following you, then I promise you, there's going to be a price to pay. And there's going to be a price to pay. And the thing is, are you willing to pay the price that's about to hit America because of what you told people to do? All right. Let me stop before I start something new. Welcome to my porch. Or should I say, thank you for joining me. And stay tuned for our podcast.